I am going to show you how to build it and also how it works. So first of all I'm going to show you how it works. If you want to skip this part then you can always just skip through the video. There will be parts into this video so you can always skip it if you want and go straight to the tutorial if you're not really interested in how it works. But first of all I'm going to show you how it works. So if I get a diamond right now, so if I place a diamond here you can just put all of them in here like that. Now if I press the button, as you can see it's a press button, and you have to input one diamond. If you input anything else it won't work, it will just stay in this hop dropper here, and that's it. So if I input one diamond, there's a low chance you will win. As you can see the music starts to play, and I didn't win anything. There is kind of a low chance you'll win, but the music will play again. See, I thought the music was a cool little element to add a bit of character to this machine. So how it works is, so when I'm driving in the input from the diamonds, so I've got a little item sorter here, which sorts out diamonds. That's to make sure that people don't use random items. Like, you really don't want people using random items, because it's going to rig up your whole machine, which is which is going to be really annoying. So, you definitely want to use a item sorter, which is what's going to be part of the tutorial. And also these items here, you should add renamed items here instead of using normal items. It will cause quite a few problems with the actual machine itself. And people could always just put a bunch of random items in here or try and figure it out. But anyway, the output goes across here and then it triggers this dropper. Now this has a bunch of random items inside it. Now that's really important. So you need a bunch of random items in here. And I've also got an oak boat. You need any any boat would do with this. And it will dispense, it will drop, I mean, not really dispense, but it will dispense it will drop into this hopper here. Then there'll be an output here from the comparator, and then it will trigger this redstone torch. And you've got the same circuit going all the way up to the top. Now once this triggers once, it will send a output through here. And each each of these lines are connected up to here. So this can output a certain amount of times. So if the output goes all the way up here to here, it will output twice. If it goes past this, then it will output four times. If it goes past this one, it will go it will output again. So you'll get six outputs. And then if it goes up here, you'll get eight outputs, which is really good. And I've just used a little mechanism here with sticky pistons and a redstone block. So now moving on to this bit here. So you've got a little redstone line that goes across here. It goes through this um, observer here. That makes it into two outputs instead of one. You kind of, it makes it better if you have two. And then it triggers this. So it triggers this dropper here and another dropper here. So how it works is the items will go into this chest and they'll stay in this chest as you've got a redstone torch here, keeping this on. And it will just stay in this chest right here and you'll get sort of a little output here. So as you can see, I won a reward over here. Well, I would have anyway, if I press the button. So as you can see, it will output a reward here. So once you've got one tick. So once the game has finished, this redstone torch will turn off and all the items will go into here and back into this dropper here. So now we've got this bit here, this is a mini red coder. So I've got a little design of a red coder on my, my on my channel. You can go check that out if you want. It should be in the card at the top, so you can go check that out if you want. So I've got a mini red coder here. It's just four outputs, and it will output into here. As you can see, it's working right now. So you've got one output here, and then this little wire here. I've got a few target blocks here. They've got a special ability of redstone going into them and powering this sticky piston. It moves it up here. All these repeaters will pow be powered and it will drop some items in here. Some of them you might need chests to refill them. But I don't really think you'll have this many diamonds. Like I don't think anyone's really that rich on the Minecraft server. And also I've added some music too. This will win a special sound, sound plays. Like two special sounds I mean really. And then if you win these basic rewards these sort of sounds will play. So you might want to learn like what sort of pitch they are. And then here you've got like a little tune here, so it goes, it's like a tune that goes up and up. So I think it sounds quite cool. So when this game finishes, you've got the redstone here, it will take an output out of this. It'll take a bit of time, and then it'll turn this torch off and it'll also go here, and there will be a dropper in here. 
it will just keep that like that. So I quite like that little setup. So anyway, that's pretty much how the machine works. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to build it now. So I might, I'm going to put an item list inside the description below. Well, not inside, on the description below. So you can, if you want to build this, then you can go check that out. You know, get all the redstone you need for your survival world or on the server. If you're building this on creative, then you can just go without the item list. So I'm going to move on to the tutorial now. So first you're going to need to make the scaffolding here. So this is just scaffolding for me. So I've got a little chest here. It's only a few blocks away, so you've got four blocks away from the center here. And then you've got the droppers here. You need two of them. And I'm going to place a button here, just because why not. And you'll be pre pressing that. And that will go into here. So you're going to have a back area here. So I might as well just have this here. So you're going to need a hopper there. Let's probably get rid of that. And then a comparator here. And then some redstone across here. And redstone down there, actually, not that far. And you're just going to put some redstone exactly like this. So now I'm going to dig out this area to make it easier to make, to build. So now I need a repeater. Let me just get one. Don't know why I forgot. So now I've got the repeater here. So now we're going to make a torch here. I'm going to place it here. And then a hopper here. It would probably be better to place it like this, actually. So now we're going to dig out a big area here. This is going to be for the chest. So you can just put a chest here. This is where your items will go. That you've got from people playing the machine. Or if people actually play your machine. There's like a chance that people just don't want to play it. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So now you can just fill this in here. You can keep it out if you want to access this chest. But it really doesn't matter that much. I normally just leave it um, on the inside. So now we've got this little setup here. So now I'm going to put the items in here. So for now I'm go just going to get some diamonds. So you can do whatever you want. You can have like emeralds or gold or whatever you want. Or you could even have your own special tokens or something like that that you can earn or something like that. Some servers like do like tokens or something like that. You could do something like that. I know I've said that quite a few times. So now I'm going to put some items in here. So I'm going to have this as a stack of item. You're going to be, you're going to need to rename this. I advise renaming it anyway. So just place items across here. Now we're going to need 18. As you can see, it goes down. And it might have gone into this one. Yep. So you need 18 items in here. And then you just need like one of each in this area here. Now try and make it stackable items. If you have non-stackable, it won't work that well. So I advise just having stackable items. It's not really going to work if you don't have stackable items. So that's the hopper setup done. That's the collection system as well done. Now we're going to move on to the, out the system where the output will go. Now you're going to need your you're going to need your repeater. Now just place it there like that. Now get some redstone. Put it across here. Now get your dropper. Now I've got an MBT dropper, so if I place it down like this, it's already got the items inside. If you're doing this on creative, then I advise making the MBT. So you can just do control and then the click button. So the middle button where you just, the scroll button. So you just click on the scroll, the, you do control and then the scroll button. And that will give you an MBT version of this. If you're on survival, then you can't do that, so just do it on creative. So now I'm going to get a hopper, place it like this, a redstone comparator, and then some redstone across here. Now a block there, a redstone torch, and another redstone torch. That should turn off like that. Now I'm going to be making exactly the same setup, but just up here. So, you know, you've got the dropper, you've got the hopper, you've got all that sort of stuff. And we're just building it up here like that. It's pretty much the same sort of design. Now you need to do this around four times. So now I'll put some redstone torches. And like that, you need to repeat this a few more times until you get four of these setups here. Your setup should look something a bit like this. So with all of these up here, you need four of them like I've done here. So now I'm gonna show you the output system. So if I go across here like that, and then you're gonna need a repeater going across here. Then you're gonna need some redstone so then we get the redstone, you're also placing blocks here as well. So now you go three blocks across here, like that. 
and then a bunch of repeaters here. Perfect, like that. So now we're going to place a sticky piston, like that, and a redstone block, like that. So we're pretty much just going to be going down, like this. So what I like to do now is to place a block here, down here, starting from here, just to make it easier to place, and a repeater. Now I'll set this to that many ticks. You also need to set this to these to a bunch of ticks too. I mean four ticks. Why am I saying a bunch of ticks? It's a bit it's a bit like uninformative. So now I'm gonna place some blocks across here. And some repeaters like that. And just put them on four ticks like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna get another sticky piston. Now make sure you have a slime farm so these sticky pistons aren't too expensive. And also an iron farm too. I've got loads of those on my channel, so you can go check them too. If you don't have one of them, because they definitely come in handy. So now I'm going to place some blocks across here, just like that. Another redstone repeater, then go like that with four ticks. Perfect. So now this redstone block will go down and trigger this. Then just place some blocks across here. So now I think the repeaters like this. These repeaters will give a really good delay. You definitely want the delay, otherwise it won't work too well. You can get enough objects and um, items inside the actual dropper. So you kind of want that. So now we're going to be placing a block across here. Um, a little block here. Going down like that. And going around here. So now this will go all the way around here. So I'm going to go just across here. Like that. Now, moving on to the next bit. Get some redstone dust, just place it like that. Now get, get your repeaters, place them across here like that. Now get your block, place it like that. Actually, why am I placing it like that? All right, so place some blocks across here, going diagonally like that. Now just go across here. You're gonna need your redstone dust. Just go like that, perfect. Now we're gonna go across here like that. So it goes over this. Now we'll get our redstone dust. Place it like this. Now we're going to need a observer. I'm just going to place it in the middle here. So I get my observer out. I've got quite a lot of stuff here. So now I'm just going to place my observer right here. Perfect. So now we're going to go across here like that. Place your redstone dust here. And then we'll go across here like that. And instead of that, I'm going to get a dropper. Just for now, make it a normal dropper. If you're using MVT, like I am, just make this a normal dropper. And that one a normal dropper. Get your hopper, place it like that. Then, get a chest. Place it like that. So now you've got your mini dropper hopper system. Now just place some redstone dust on here. So this can actually get powered. So now, we're going to go across here. Like that. We have a comparator. Over here. Now we're going to go over here. And we're going to place some redstone right here. So this one actually, this, you can use a comparator here. You're going to need a comparator there actually. And just place a block here. And we're going to put some redstone on top of it. So now we're next, na now next we're making the actual red coder. So with this red coder it's like you just place a sandstone up here, or whatever building block you're using. And we're just going to place them across here, like that. Now, we're going to go up here. We're going to put a comparator here. And just say average chest here. You can place one item inside the chest. Any item you want, whatever. Now we're going to place some target blocks across here. See, I really like target blocks because of their, like, the way they work. I think they're really cool. So now, we're going to place some redstone across here, like that. Beautiful. Now, we're going to put some repeaters here, and put a comparator here. Um, place that on negative mode, or subtract mode, whatever you want to call it. And place some blocks across here, like that. Now, place some torches here. And place your redstone torches here. So that's pretty much it for the red coder. It's a very simple red coder, I've got to say. 
So now we can put our boats in here. I prefer putting around maybe nine in here. That's my advice anyway for how many boats you should put in. So now we've got this simple design here. Now we're going to move on to the output here. And we'll also sort out the hopper system. And then we'll connect up the rest of the redstone from back here all the way around to here. So that's pretty much the next step right now. Now you're going to be making the next section. So get your blocks, just place them across here like that. Now you can use gold if you want. If you want to make a little nice little tune for when they like win a prize or something, then you can always use gold or like an other material that works well with note blocks and just place it across here like that. I'm doing it as well. Now place the note blocks across here. Now what I like to do is find the right tune, the tune that I like to hear. So that sounds quite nice. So when this actually outputs, oh wait, this is supposed to be a bit high actually. Yeah, that works a bit better. So now when this outputs, it'll play this tune and also a dropper will drop the item into the hopper. So let me just reset this again. So right now, the gold isn't touching it. You can't always just place the gold here for now. And you can always have it high if you want. I quite like having it quite high. Like higher and lower when it gets to it. Now I'm just going to place an, a block here, a normal block, that's all you need. And then for this bit, I'm going to add a little subsection here. And just get some gold, place it like this. This is for the jackpot, so you want a cool noise. So that's why I've got two note blocks. Now I'm going to test out a different sound. You can always, if you want to output it, just try yourself. So that sounds quite nice. So that sounds quite weird as well. That sounds quite cool. Yeah, that should work. So you can pretty much do whatever noise you want. And just play some repeaters over here. And then next you're going to need your target blocks. Just place them like this. And then some redstone across here. So you'll have this mini setup here, and then put a repeater here for now. Now you're going to break a block down here, under here. And we're just going to put some repeaters across here. Now, I ha did place a torch here. I just wanted to demo of this, how good this works. So I'm just going to place a block here for now. And put the redstone torch back here. Now we're going to place some repeaters across here. Go out like this. Make sure there's a big delay here. That's what I'm going to do. There's going to be a big delay across here for when the sound will play. So you have to wait quite a little bit of time for it to happen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the little redstone that goes here. Then a repeater here. And this is pretty much it. So you're going to have like a little output here that outputs the boats back into here. Now it won't always happen, but the thing is this area here will always be outputting anyway so you will definitely always get the drop the um, boats back into here and there's pretty much no way of you like winning twice in a row pretty much like the chances are super super low so this output machine will still work anyway so now we've got little, this little setup here done now on to the next bit so you're gonna need some redstone just place it across here like that now just put some repeaters here now you're going to need around, maybe, let me think, six. So that's pretty much six right there. You can see the redstone wire over here. So you're just going to make break some blocks down here. And you're going to have repeaters going across here too. This is to add a long, a long time until this actually outputs. You kind of want that. So now just put all these on four ticks. Make sure all of them are on that. Now do this first before you put the observers on, because we're going to be making another music tune, which is good. So now observers going up here, like that. So now we can get some note blocks again. Just place them like this. You can pretty much choose whatever tune you want. But first we're going to put our dirt here, so we get a nice... Oh wait. It's the other, the other way, I mean. 
So if I place dirt like this, it works a bit better if you do it like that. So now. Now this is a good tune. This is pretty much the same tune as I've got on the other one. I kind of want to keep it like that. I want to just keep it nice and similar to the old one. So now a little tune will play. I'll show you what the tune sounds like. Because why not? So that sounds quite cool. It sounds like a mysterious sort of tune. So yeah, I'm going to keep that tune. It sounds quite nice. So now we're going to put some redstone here. Like that. I should have done that at the start really, but it doesn't matter. Now we're going to get our droppers. Just place them up here, like that. And then hoppers, going into here. Also just a little addition to this bit here. I made the mistake of placing that there, so you just need to replace this with a block here. Redstone dust, like that. And just a block here. So try and do that as well, because this can cause problems with this dropper. And you definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, so I've also added a little um, pulse extender here. It's just to extend the pulse onto this redstone torch here. As there's, have, there's a few problems with the item still being in here. And also I've changed this system here, as the redstone here was kind of stopping the items from entering this hopper. So I did change up the design a tiny bit, but it doesn't really too, make too much difference. It just fixes this a bit. So now this should work a bit better. I've also had a few tests and it should work perfectly. And this is pretty much the redstone done. So now we're going to put the items inside. So I advise putting quite a lot of different items inside here. Just to add some variation. So you can put some chests up here. Now you can do any items you want. So you could have some items that are super rare like a beacon. You know beacons aren't that, re that rare if you have a lot of them. You could have like a shulker box full of goodies or something like that. So in here, so in the first one you could get your money back or even double your money back. So if I put some diamonds in here. So I've got a list over here of what items I've put in here. You don't have to do exactly the same, but if you're struggling for what items you can put in, then you can always do these sort of items. So one deer, which is a diamond. You could put one DB, which is one diamond block. And I've just had, have it in here. And then these ones in shock boxes as a kind of bulk. So you've got 16 diamond blocks and 64 diamond blocks, which is a lot. So I've just got them in here, somewhere in shuffle boxes, just so it's kept stock stuck up, because you kind of want it to be stocked up. If you're low on diamonds and you don't really don't have many, then you can just put smaller rewards for now and make the price a bit cheaper to play. But then once you get a bit richer, you can put better rewards in. But if you're kind of like not too rich on the server, maybe you only have like a, maybe you only have 16 diamond blocks or something like that. You can always just put like small rewards and have like the jackpot as like a diamond block or something like that. Make it like cheap or something. So like for emeralds or something like that. Just while you're starting off. So that's my advice for that. And this machine is pretty much done. So right now I haven't put any anything in here. So I'll put some items in here right now. I have won a diamond so far. So I've won my money back so far. Just from free diamonds, which is okay, but if you put better rewards in, it's going to convince people they're going to be more likely to go into this. It's so like if you have like 60 diamond, 64 diamond blocks as the reward, you could even do something like 64 netherite blocks. That would really entice people to play, but you'd have to do it quite expensive anyway to play. So, have this as the big rewards. But if you want to make the chances a bit better, so you can win stuff quicker. You can always just get rid of less, have less items inside this dropper. So if you want it to be a one in two percent chance of winning, then you can just have two items in here. Just make sure it's an oak boat and a stackable item, and you can do that for all of them if you want. But I prefer having a l lower chance to win because it gives more competition. And if you think this isn't low and en low enough for you, then you can just add more. You can build this even taller and add more if you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to you can subscribe, I really don't mind at all because I pretty much just do this for fun anyway. 
but why not you know you can if you want to be honest I really don't mind and also if you enjoy this this build or if you have fun with it then you can always tell me in the comment section or something like that and also I always like it's always nice to see to meet new people so you know you can always go down into the comment section say hi or something or even ask me a question about the machine is there any you could ask any question you want I should be able to answer pretty much any question you ask unless it's like a question that I don't know then I wouldn't be able to answer it so pretty much just ask any question you want and yeah I'll see you in the next video if you actually go to any of my other videos so yeah bye